Thanks to one Derek Pascarella of Backdrift.net and Pasca Entertainment here on YouTube, I now have a working boot disc for the Dream Movie VCD and MP3 player on Sega Dreamcast. Derek, I can't thank you enough, sir. I really appreciate this. As I mentioned in my Saturn VCD review, the Dream Movie is exceedingly rare and on occasion rather pricey. These facts beg the question, is it worth seeking out? First, let us discuss the overall package. There's the boot disc, which was scratched all to hell, and from what I can tell, that's a common problem, the IR receiver, and remote. Decent range, tested up to 8 feet, and it requires two CR2032 batteries to function. You insert the disc, power on the system, and you wait. Okay. Okay, it's time to insert your movie of choice. Once again, I'll go with mine. I know, what can I say? I'm a shameless whore. For years you have awaited our coming. Behold, you have failed. With your last breath, you shall bear witness to the fall of ages. That'll be the day. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. The AV quality is exceptional for the format, though not much better than Saturn. Details a tad sharper, yes, but I'm not sure if that's due to software or the higher resolution afforded by the Dreamcast. In any case, it looks and sounds terrific. For VCD, that is. So, now that I've experienced both pieces of software, which is better, Saturn or Dreamcast? In my opinion, I feel the Saturn's VCD player is better overall. My one major gripe is that the software won't function without the IR dongle and remote. If either one should get lost or crap out, you're shit out of luck. For whatever dumb fuck reason, the software won't recognize a Dreamcast controller. Why? The Saturn uses a controller, why not the Dreamcast? Instead I have to fiddle fuck around with this thing. The Saturn VCD is a card that stays in place and requires nothing else. If you're running it on a Japanese console, that is. Yes, there's a region lock. I really should have mentioned that in my last video. My apologies. The controller acts as a remote, so there's no dicking around with batteries or this. That's a big plus, as is the interface. The Dream Movie's on-screen instructions are sometimes lost in the image, making it difficult to operate. The Saturn's is reminiscent of Blu-ray. It pops up whenever you hit the A button, everything stands out, and it makes sense. It even supports menus and chapter stops. In closing, I think the Saturn wins here. It's less troublesome than the Dream Movie, and I'm betting the AV quality would be comparable to Dream Movie with S-Video or RGB. Don't get me wrong, the Dream Movie is a nice collector's item and it works well enough, but I think you're better off tracking down any one of the VCD cards available for Saturn. But, you know, that's just me, I could be wrong.